Our local top story. Another post-conviction relief filed by convicted murderer Christopher Tapp has been dismissed. Tapp is serving a 25-year to life sentence for the 1996 murder of Angie Dodge. Local News 8's Chelsea Brensel live in the Idaho Falls newsroom. Chelsea, this isn't the first time a post-conviction request has been denied by a judge. Well, Carol, that's right. This is actually the third time this has happened. Under Idaho law, only one post-conviction can be filed per person who has been sentenced. There are exceptions to the rules, such as new information coming to light or new technology that wasn't available when the trial occurred. Today, a judge dismissed a petition for the new trial. Defense, um, the defense filed that back in 2012, and the defense claimed that information could have come out and it could have changed the outcome of the trial almost 17 years ago. But the prosecution disagreed. His petition was based on an allegation that there was information he didn't have at the trial that he should have had and could have made a difference. Uh, argument for dismissal was that it, it wouldn't have made a difference at trial. Basically, today the judge agreed with that. He dismissed their petition. There's not going to be a new trial. However, a new trial for Tapp isn't completely out of the question. A few weeks ago, Tapp's attorney filed a new post-conviction relief based on new DNA technology. The prosecution has not responded to the petition yet. Live in the newsroom, I'm Chelsea Brensel. Thank you, Chelsea. The prosecution has 28 days to respond after a post-conviction is filed. It was filed on April 30th, so the last day to respond would be one week from today.